UK's parties scramble for no deal Brexit after the Brexit party came out on top in Sunday's European vote with 31.6% of the vote. The 55-year-old Farage said on Monday he wanted to be included in any new negotiation to leave the EU. Britain's two main parties set the stage on Monday for a battle over a no deal Brexit, hoping to win back voters who abandoned them for a new movement led by Eurosceptic Nigel Farage and other smaller parties in European elections. We must deliver Brexit after a punishing night when acrimonious divisions over Britain's departure from the European Union were plain to see, contenders for the leadership of the governing Conservatives said the results were a demand to deliver Brexit no matter what. Taking a different tack, the opposition Labour Party said a public vote a new national election or second referendum was the way to reunite the country. It pledged to make sure any new Eurosceptic Conservative leader would not take Britain out of the AU without a transition deal to help protect the economy. But with Farage's Brexit party, which prefers a no-deal Brexit, capturing the greatest number of votes for seats in the European Parliament, closely shadowed by a group of fervently pro-EU parties, Conservatives and Labour were under pressure to commit clearly to either side of the debate. Almost three years since Britain voted narrowly to leave the EU and barely two months after the originally planned departure date, lawmakers remain at loggerheads over how, when or even whether the country will quit the club it joined in 1973. For the Conservatives, who will name a new leader by the end of July, many of the would-be successors see the European vote outcome as proof they must seek a cleaner break with the EU with several saying they would leave without a deal a move some senior pro-EU conservatives regard as foolhardy. For Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn, pressure will mount to embrace a second referendum without qualification, something he has said would be needed to prevent a no-deal Brexit.